Hey you guys, I'm Fabio Hart coming back with another video. Uh, you're gonna see me glancing down. I took some notes, a couple things I wanna talk about in this particular video, but first, let's go ahead and get this right out the way, okay? I do have one spot left for the coaching. As I said on the other videos, guys, I'm not gonna be offering coaching at all in 2021. So the spots that I have is a rollover from 2020, okay? So someone did the took the $1,500 spot. So I do have the $1,000 spot, which consists of just the lead generation and the coaching, okay? I don't have any more spots left for the lead generation coaching and paperwork uh, along with the free fogger, okay? Just sold that spot earlier today, okay? Um, so again, for $1,000, you get you into coaching for 12 months, six months lead generation, and you're gonna learn a lot, you're gonna do a lot, I'm gonna hold you accountable, and as you should hold me accountable as well, okay? So again, guys, uh, one spot left, hit me up at uh, Hollywood Janitorial. <laughs> HollywoodJanitorialServe at gmail.com, HollywoodJanitorialServe at gmail.com, and uh, we'll go ahead and get you signed up. Just put sign me up in the uh, subject line, and uh, my assistant or myself, most likely probably be my assistant, will be able to get you guys set up, okay? Now, again, what I want to talk about, guys, again, I took a few little notes that kind of jotted down on the envelope here. Um, I may not be able to cover everything uh, because I'm actually at a site getting ready to go in shortly, but... Uh, first and foremost, guys, I want to talk about how I keep my employees, okay? That's the first thing that I have written down here. Um, a lot of people email me uh, about employees. I've talked about that on several other videos. And either employees or not being able to pick up contracts seem to be everybody's biggest issue, okay? And it was mine at first, too, like in the very beginning, okay? So the thing is, guys, is that I do think that a lot of you guys are being a little too friendly with your, with your, uh, you're giving them a lot of leeway. Okay. Just think about when you first started, you know, whatever job you have now, right? They didn't give you a lot of leeway. They, they trained you to death, right? Um, they held you accountable, right? If the productivity was low, they kind of help you bring it up or switch you off to another department or whatever the case is, right? But they essentially held you, uh, uh, you know, held you, held you accountable. I'm sorry, guys. And that's where you guys are going wrong. You guys are letting a lot of your employees get away with a lot of dirt in the very early on stages. They're demanding more money. They're requesting off. Again, guys, in order for your business to run systematically, okay, you have to build a system. Okay, you have to build a system. And a lot of you guys are just winging it. I really hate the fact that you're doing that, I do understand how difficult it is in the, in the beginning. A lot of the people that I speak to, whether they're in my coaching or outside of the coaching, they don't want to do the work themselves, okay? Guys, you, you can't really get around that, okay? Everything is going to start with you in the beginning, okay? And in order for you to train somebody, you have to know what to do, right? How are you going to effectively train somebody how to do a mop job or how to do a wipe down or how to, you know, a professional way to do certain things if you don't know how to do it, okay? Um... I do understand the notion of people having jobs and they have kids. They have a lot of things going on. Again, guys, you can always start your business off part time. OK, which means what I wouldn't want you to do is quit your job. You say, well, you know, I'm so sick and tired of working for somebody. I'm just sick and tired of this shit. Right. I want to just do my own thing. And that's cool. But you have to be realistic because you still have bills. You still have kids. You still have food. You still have things that you have to you know, everyday expenses that you have to purchase. Right. That you have to live off of. So it wouldn't be a. Uh, of an advantage for you to quit your job right off the top, right? So I would suggest that you utilize your job, right? You utilize those funds and then run your business part-time until you get a little steam, right? You get one contract, you get two contracts, you start picking the contracts up, okay? Now, some of us, like myself in the very beginning, was forced, you know, out of desperation, was forced to really get something going. And I believed in myself enough to keep going because I knew I had no other choice. It was either do this Right, order my little course that I ordered, study the course, go through everything, or it was gonna be get another job. Right. So again, guys, like I say, uh some of you are at a better advantage than I than I was. Some of you had more way more money than I had in the in the very beginning to start off. So again, guys, it's about leveraging, right? Uh, putting systems together. But first you just have to get your feet wet, right? You just have to get in the door. And I do believe, like I say, if you guys get to hiring people, I do one thing that I like to do with my business, I'm a little bit bigger now, is profit sharing. Profit sharing works well for me. 
Um, I'm also into incentives, right? Once they do great work, employees love, you know, little certificates. They love little maybe tickets or certain things, uh, you know, an extra bonus on the check. They love little things to show uh, from their employer to show that the employer care about how they're being, how they're performing on the job, right? How they're performing, right? Um, now, I don't suggest that you're doing that right off, right off the, the rip. I don't want you to say, oh, well, I watched this video with Fabio. He said, you know, pay them more money from the top. No, you start them off small and tell them there's room for a growth, right? You give them a 90 day trial or you give them a 90 day probationary period type situation. You hire them on, right? You train them. Don't be too friendly. Don't give them a lot of slack. No call offs. Reprimand them for call offs, right? Again, you guys have to treat them how your employee, your employer treats you, right? You can't just say, well, I'm not going to go in, you know, three days out of the week because we know what's going to happen when you do that, right? You're going to get fired. We can't just, you know, come in and just get tired and just walk off the job, right? Because we understand what's going to happen when that happens, right? So again, guys, the way I'm able to keep my employees is I offer profit sharing, right? We do uh, Zoom calls, at least maybe once or twice lately it's been twice a week right because see i'm not in the buildings as often so in order for me to know what's going on i like to interact with my employees because they can give me feedback they can let me know what we're doing uh what they didn't heard because sometimes the client will discuss things with their employees if they're looking for another cleaning company you can jump right on top of that right away but if you don't hold meetings if you don't uh uh, interact with your employees if you don't have that open door policy like i suggest that you have a lot of times you'll miss the boat and it'll be too late you'll lose the account uh whatever you, you know if you if you don't have the personality where they can you're approachable where they can come and talk to you a lot of times again they won't tell you anything they won't text you anything right so again guys you need to have that open door policy and be very very approachable because without them it's no you simple right Without them and the client, I should say, is no you. But damn sure with, without the employees, because other than that, you're not able, you, you won't be able to navigate. You won't be able to, to uh, uh, be as productive in your own business if you don't have employees. And that's just my personal opinion. Like, that would be treacherous for you, right? To have to do everything, you know, uh, 12 months out of the year, just around the clock, right? You got to be the administrator. You got to be the tax person you got to be the employee you got to be everything right so again and another thing a lot of you guys are are, are doing you don't want to hire anybody because this is your baby your business right so you don't want to put yourself in a situation where somebody's not going to work or perform to the to, to your liking or to the way you would do it so you're like i'll just do it myself again that's gonna that's gonna stunt your growth big time okay that's gonna stunt your growth and in the beginning that's okay but I wouldn't fix in my head to stay that way, okay? Um, uh, number two, I got slow growth is uh, the best growth, okay? Now, some of you guys are worried about growing too, too fast. And then that's where you miss the mark, okay? And I said this on, on other videos too. I'm going to say it again is that slow growth is the best growth. And the reason I say that is because you get to learn if you never clean or work for a cleaning service or whatever, and you're just starting out, again, you get to learn as you go. Okay, you get to learn, you get to train yourself, you get to learn as you go, you get to find techniques, you get to, you know, you get the logist of everything. Okay, if you're trying to grow too fast, you make a lot of mistakes. Trust me, I know this, you make a lot of mistakes. And what will happen is you get to picking up contracts. I know how exciting it is to get one contract. When I got my very first contract, I'm like, oh, shit, I'm in the in the building. Now I can do this. And I went out and I started getting other contracts. It seemed like as soon as I got that first one, it seemed like the next contracts was like easier to come by, right? It wasn't as hard, it seemed like, once I got the very first contract. But the caveat to that is that I lost my focus, right? I was so focused on volume in terms of getting a lot of contracts that I wasn't taking care of my regular contracts like I was supposed to, like I was doing in the beginning when I first got them, right? So what's going to happen is you don't take care of them, they won't take care of you. The next thing you know, you're going to get an email, text, or a phone call, and they're going to say, hey, we're deciding to go another direction, okay? And that's not what you want. So slow growth, again, don't try to rush it. If you got one account, now I wouldn't say sit out for six months and don't try to pick up any accounts. That's not what I'm trying to say, but don't put all your eggs on, on and, and, and getting a lot of contracts all 
uh, at first in the very beginning. That's really what I'm trying to say, okay? So don't rush the process, right? Just trust the process, but don't rush the process, okay? So again, you pick up contracts. You get to learn this contract. You heard how I used to do it, right? If I was to do it all over again, I would do it the exact same way because it makes sense for me to do it that way. I found, you know, I, I made it make sense for me. I worked 30 to 60 days in and I put a body in, okay? I worked 30 to 60 days in and I put a body in. The type of bodies I put in was not family, friends, girlfriends, you know, nobody too close to me, okay? If you're using Facebook or other platforms, Indeed, or other, you know, like social networks or social platforms to hire your people, again, you can do screenings, background checks, okay? If you're hiring, uh, you know, you you need to go with E-Verify. You need to check in and make sure that they are eligible uh, in, in, able, uh, in being able to work in the United States, right? So you go through E-Verify. You set up an account with them, okay? And that's for your people that's, you know, of, you know, uh, another nation or another, you know, whatever, okay? So you want to make sure that they document a legal, and this is a system that you can go through E-Verify, okay? Again, guys, like I say, it's all good and dandy to uh, to grow your business, but you don't want to grow extremely too, too fast, okay? Online networking. That's the next thing I'm, I'm going to hit on, right? I'm flying through this because I got, like I said, I'm in a contract right now, so I got to go in shortly. Um, online networking. Guys, we're at home. We got this whole corona thing going. Um, a lot of businesses in many areas of the country isn't open and you know, we just home, right? So if we're going to be on social media platforms and social medias, it's okay to network, guys, even with people that you already know, because it might be that one person that you know, right? And you haven't even discussed your business. You haven't talked about your business. You haven't brought up any ideas or anything. And that one person might know a person that they can link you up with. Just because they're not in the cleaning business don't mean that they can't help you in the cleaning business, right? They might know someone that you don't know. So start that, that dialect with them. Start a conversation with them, right? So if you're in the DMs or the PMs or whatever the case is, and you're going back and forth, let them know what you're doing. Hey, if you know somebody that needs carpet cleaning services, um, shoot them my way. Give them my number. Give them my email. Give them my web, whatever you have, your website, whatever, right? If you know somebody that's that need window cleaning and you offer that service, power washing, uh, 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 grout clean, a uh, 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 foreclosure clean, right? You never know who know who, right? So again, online networking, guys, we got to quit the BS on the internet where we just posting memes and, 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 and good luck stories and, 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 and gossip pages and things like that. And we got to really get to the meat and potatoes of our business. Okay. So again, network with people, you know, right? And that that's okay to do. And then also open conversation with people that might just be on your friend list that you never even spoke to, right? Now, don't jump right in right away and say, you know, start conversation. You guys know how to do it, right? Um, women too, right? Don't be too too proud to start a conversation with a guy now. He might think that you're hitting on him right off the top, but, you know, you start that conversation. You know, you let him know, hey, this is not that, right? We, we, we're not on that. But, you know, if you know anybody, you know, that might need this or need that, you know, just small talk that lead to somewhere else. You never know who know who, right? Somebody might be on your friend list right now that might be selling a a, 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 a power washing machine or might be selling a, you know, um, a buffer, right? They might have something that you need right now and they need to get rid of it. But because you haven't, you know, started conversation with them, they don't know that you need it. Right. So, again, guys, online networking is a must. OK, um, this is a situ situation that I just did recently, guys. And it worked terrific. OK, as you know, I'm not I'm, I'm more into it now, I guess, because I'm making more money at it. But I'm not the biggest fan of the residential sector, the, a niche cleaning. Right. I'm not the biggest person when it comes down to that. I prefer commercial buildings. But I've been doing fogging over the whole Corona season and the whole situation like that. So I've been doing more and more residential properties, okay, um, under property management companies and just homeowners and et cetera, et cetera. So I came up with this idea. I won't say the newscaster name, 
but using influencers that have a bigger base locally can help your business out, right? Because you got newscasters, you got radio jocks, you got so many people in your area locally, news, maybe newspaper writers different that has a base, right? They have professional people on their, their page. So what I did was I did a, I think it was about a 30 second clip or so might be 45 seconds, but it wasn't a long clip. I did a little short video, kind of like how I'm doing with, with this with my phone. Did a short video, um, introduced myself in the video for those that might not knew who I was. Uh, I explained what services I offered, and I had an irresistible offer in the video. Just those three things. You know, just introduce, introduce myself, what services I offered, and I had an irresistible offer. Okay. I don't know what made me think of this, but I started going to like the newscast people in my area, the radio jocks, just people locally, like in my area. And I asked them if they could post my video for 24 hours. That's what influencers do. You got these top influencers, they post your, 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 your flyer, post your video, post whatever you have. If you're selling nails, if you're selling lashes, if you, whatever you're doing, right? Selling clippers, whatever, right? They post your advertisement for 24, maybe the 48 hours or whatever deal you set up and you pay them, okay, to do that. You pay them for the posting because you're going to reach the eyeballs off of their platform. I don't care if it's Facebook or I don't care if it's Instagram. Now, when I did this, I used it with, in, with Instagram, okay, and I was looking for homeowners. So, once again, I do know, you know, networking, you know, we're talking about networking here. So, I paid for their eyeballs right which drove my viewership up my not my viewers my followers up right because she had a little link and you know in the in in the little you know not bio but the little you know caption or whatever had a little link you click on it to go to my Instagram page so my Instagram followers have risen right have came up not only that i have picked up business because of this one newscast woman that I paid for advertising, right? I paid her to advertise my video on her page with all of her following, right? Which she has a huge following and it worked. But that's just me thinking outside of the box, guys. Just because it have not been done don't mean it can't be done. You just have to be the first to do it. You hear me say that all the time. Whether it's billboards, whether it's getting media and press and all of that, I'm all for that. I don't talk a lot about that because I know a lot of people isn't in front of the camera type of people, right? They, they're they not, you know, they don't want to get press or whatever, but it's paramount that you do, right? Because any smart businessman or businesswoman know that press is free, right? You don't have to pay for press unless you're paying a publicist. But if you pitch your story, pitch it yourself, pitch the radio station, you'll be amazed how many doors you can open for your business but that's on a whole nother level guys okay but again using influencers will help your business it's a certain way you got to do it and your message got to be clear cut right clear cut you use you know video or you can use a, a flyer you can use some type of advertisement that you have they're posted on they on their platform facebook instagram wherever tiktok and whatever however they do it right and you use their followers they're going to put your link in their little description or in their little, you know, uh, caption or whatever the case is, right? So naturally, people are going to click on your, your link. It's going to go to your Facebook. It's going to go to your Instagram, your TikTok, wherever the case goes, right? And it's going to build your followers up. And as a byproduct of that, you're going, obviously, some people are going to be interested in it, okay? So it worked for me. Uh, also, guys, I want to talk about bartering. Now, I know people need money, but if you don't have something and somebody else has something, swap a deal, verbal deal, handshake deal, whatever, or you can put it on paperwork, you know, could put it on, on, on paper, right? Put something together. I'll do this for you if you do that for me. That's bartering, essentially, is what it is, right? So it's a, a, a pretty much like a favor for favor or where you guys can help each other and ride each other coattails. Uh, to a certain degree, you know, I, I do this for you help your business you in return do this for me It's gonna help my business 
and now you guys don't really owe each other no no money per se, right? You guys just helped each other out. He won, she won, you won, she won, whatever the case is. And now you establish this relationship with this person. So whenever you need to do this again, you have this relationship. And you'll be amazed at who that person might introduce you to, right? Just because you was a stand-up man or you was a stand-up woman. So don't be afraid of bartering, guys. Uh, joint ventures, okay, which is kind of like bartering in, in, in a certain degree. But it's a little bit different. Joint ventures, you have... You know, some paperwork included. You come together, you know, almost like blending businesses, right? So a joint venture is where uh, somebody can come into your business, maybe a, a, a salesman. He worked for maybe a franchise, right? A cleaning franchise before, right? And you might need a salesman to do door-to-door -door sales or do telemarketing or do whatever the case is. So you put a joint venture deal together. He might have a company already where he just make calls for other companies or he's an answering service for it, right? So you do a joint venture deal, right? Where it work, it's going to work for him, right? He's got to get something out of the deal, but you're going to get something out of the deal. So put together some type of joint venture type of deal, okay? Lastly, what I want to talk about, guys, and I'm going to end it. Sorry, I'm kind of all over the place, but I wanted to kind of get these points out. It's paycheck to paycheck. A lot of the people, and I get them, my people ask about this all the time. A lot of the people are living paycheck to paycheck, uh, even in my coaching and outside of the coaching. I get a lot of emails, guys, and I wouldn't expose anybody, right? But I get a lot of emails where people say, hey, Fabio, I'm making 10 grand a year, a, a, a year, a month. <laughs> I'm making 10 grand a month, right? And the whole 10 grand is gone. So I really got I, I to gotta wait to read up. If you're living like that, guys, that's the, that's the employee mindset. You have to cut expensive, expenses right? You have to cut expenses. Um, you have to uh, be able to manage the money, right? Everything you don't need, right? Just because you have the money in the bank don't mean you have it to spend right now in your business. Let it double up. Let it triple up, okay? So for an example, if I had 10 grand a month, right? And I'm, I'm living from 10 grand to 10 grand a month and I know I need to buy this machine, right? Well, I don't have any jobs right now, and if it was me, I'll say, well, you know what? I don't have a carpet cleaning job to do right now. But in the event that I need to do a carpet cleaning job, I can source the work out. Or if I absolutely have to do it myself, I can rent the machine for a day or two. Right? Instead of paying a couple thousand dollars to buy a machine. Now, I'll get it. I don't want to rent Fabio and I don't want to sub it out. I want to own my own machine. But if you got 10 grand and it's going to cost you two grand to get this machine, that's going to leave you with eight grand. We don't know what's going to come in the next 30 days with this eight grand, right? You still got employees. You still got taxes. You still have other things, guys. And you guys definitely should be doing a profit uh, P&L, profit and loss sheet, right? Whether you're doing it on just by hand, right? You got the uh, book, the profit and loss uh, spreadsheet book, or whether you're doing it by electronically, you're doing it off of an app, you're doing it off of a software program, whatever the case, right? You guys definitely should always be checking the numbers. You should know what's coming in, what's going out, right? You should always be on top of your payables and your receivables, okay? Again, guys, I can go on and on. Uh, I'm really, the, the main thing that I'm working on now for a lot of people, you, you know, the coaching, and this is why I think you guys should get it. I got one spot left. Um, is I'm helping my people now do what I've already done. Okay, so you guys know I offer the lead generation. If I do the lead generation, then you will get contracts based on me just doing the lead generation. But if I show you what I do and show you how to do what I do and you can get lead generation ongoing forever, it'll work in your favor. It'll be better for you, right? You wouldn't have to depend upon Fabio, you know, to, to help you get leads, you will know what I do. You will duplicate that and you'll make it work. Okay. You'll make it work. So that's what I'm trying to teach a lot of my people right now. Uh, we're talking a lot about employees in the coaching right now because a lot of people are struggling to keep them. We're talking about subcontractors because I had a few people say contractors try to slide under them. So you got to tighten up on your paperwork, that type of thing. Uh, we're talking a lot about bankers, uh, lawyers. A lot of people don't have business lawyers. Uh, so important people like this, right? Your bankers, your lawyers. Uh, publicists, all of these individuals are paramount for your business, right? At some point, you will need them, okay? Um, so, again, guys, uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut this video short. It was really longer than I expected or anticipated, I should say. 
uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut it short. Uh, again, I have one spot left for the coaching for $1,000. You're gonna get the lead generation for six months to 12 month coaching. It's only one spot. Once that spot is gone, guys, I'm not offering lead generation coaching or nothing for the entire year of 2020. So don't email me, say, hey, can you just throw me in there? Can you do this? I'm offering this one last spot. You have the absolute chance right now to take advantage of it. Okay, you have the chance to, of, to take advantage of it, period. I don't know what I'm going to do in 2020. I'm sorry, 2022. But in 2021, you will not hear me. Once the spot is filled, you will not hear me talk about the coaching or unless I'm referencing uh, something that I taught somebody in there. But uh, I would not be offering or selling it or anything in 2021. OK, I got a lot going on outside of my cleaning business. We got, you know, just everything is going good for me. I'll just put it that way. Right. In my business ventures. OK, my networking and all of that stuff. And I want the same for you guys. If you do have any questions, comments or concerns, be sure to leave it on the video. Make sure you like, share and subscribe. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please subscribe. Please like, please share. I would greatly appreciate you guys. Okay. If you have any questions, you can always hit me up on the email. I will be honest and tell you that I don't answer the emails uh, all the time. Nine times out of 10, you're probably going to be dealing with Jasmine in the email. Okay. But she, if it's something she can answer, she will get the information over to me. I'll get it back to her and she will return your emails. Please bear with us on the emails, guys. Give me at least 24 to 48 hours if we don't answer directly uh, right away like we used to. Uh, it's just a lot going on, okay? Um, but we will get back to your email. If you're in my coaching, you already know what to do. Um, so that speaks for itself, okay? If you want to get into coaching, put sign me up in the subject headline, one spot left, 12-month uh, coaching, six-month lead generation. We can help you uh, take your business to the next level, okay? Or if you're just trying to get off the ground, help you start it, all of that. If you're already in motion, we help you take it to a whole another level, okay? So that's going to do it for now. If I be a heart, the only person that could ever stop you from starting up your own dreams and making it to the top is you. Take care.